people always think that weeds are something that you want out of your garden, but they're also like just really durable, strong plants. There's some weeds right here inside of the brick walls. It grew out of a field guide that the students made last year um, where they went and investigated all of the weeds um, with an artist named Caitlin Pomerantz and they turned that into a field guide. That field guide was given to Kim Beck who then designed a mural. No better way to nurture community growth through just connecting with the environment around us which includes the plants. We learned about 15 different plants last summer and we put them together and made our own personal field guide using the paper that we made. Some people use them for food, some for medicine, some have like religious significance. By next year, all of this out here should be looking real different. New paint, new playground, basketball court. Some of the plants that we actually drew and some of the students here at Master Degree are incorporated into the mural that's behind me. My favorite was the Princess tree, when you rub its leaves, it smells like peanut butter, and I thought that was cool. I remember Princess tree came from Asia. Yeah, this one comes from Asia, too. So they would plant the tree when the princess was born, and then at the time when the tree had actually developed to become a full tree, they knew that the princess was old enough to be married off. The ages of our students range from 13 to 19, and we've been working on a mural all summer, and we also took a very exciting adventure trip um, to the woods of Maryland. First time some of the young people had actually seen the stars. Mural Arts is one of the few organizations where you're able to do work that is social and creative at the same time, um, where you can kind of try and pursue your development as an artist and as a social agent for improving other people's lives, and uh, that's a beautiful thing.